So, hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about a very, very serious issue in today's society, which is about the distractions which teenagers have in their life or which people like me of the age of 19, 20 or so. Basically, everyone from 15 to 25 have in their life. And uh, most of this will focus on how to avoid the mobile phone addiction, which we all have, you, me, everyone in this universe has, that, has got that kind of a thing that he uses the mobile phone too much or you know it's affecting his or her life which is a very very serious issue for all of us in earlier times we used to have all sorts of distractions in our life we used to have games we used to have uh, friends to hang out with we used to party we used to uh, you know talk with friends just casually or we used to do some other stuff uh, and today when I, this was when i was a kid uh, i was a kid like five to six or ten years back maybe and when we talk about today then most of these things, games, friends, chatting, other stuff, all of this can be accessed using one device in your pocket, which is a smartphone, which makes it useful, but at the same time, it makes it very, very dangerous for everyone. Now, this is why I'm focusing only on the smartphone, because once you get rid of that, almost all of your distractions are completely gone. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to give you five different tips, which will help you overcome your, uh, this problem of uh, accessing your phone too much. So my first tip for you is, to monitor the amount of time which you spend on your phone. Now there are certain apps which are available on the Play Store which you can use. For example, there's this app called Your R on the Play Store which is available for Android. I myself use it and it's a really good app for tracking the amount of time you open your phone and to also track the amount of time which you spend on each app and it also gives you the total amount of time which you have spent on all of your apps combined. So you can see that this is like a really eye, really eye opening thing for myself when I used it on the first day I was like whoa man that's a lot of usage and uh, you should really use that app in your phone and get to know how much how much you are really you know wasting your time on the phone it will really open your eyes and it will blow your way your brains you can also add some extensions to your mobile phone browser or on your uh, computer browser uh, there are some blockers you know there are all, all sorts of blockers available on the chrome store you can just google uh, chrome blockers and you can uh, you know put some sites near for example facebook instagram whatsapp and twitter and all of these uh, social networking platforms can be put into that and you can block all of them from your uh, uh, screen like if you want to go there you will not be able to because the, it will block and it also blocks all kinds of other sites which you should not see the second tip which I have for you is to log out. Yeah, you heard it right. So what happens with us is that when we spend time on any social networking site or any site for that matter, for YouTube or on Facebook, Instagram, anything, what happens is that we keep on scrolling, we keep on scrolling, we, when we go to the least level and we watch all the memes, who is getting trolled, who is not getting trolled, let us troll someone, let us comment, let us like. It's, it's like, it's not, a, it's not the reality of life, it's just an escape for reality, just like alcohol and drugs and all of that. So what is happening there is something is going bad in your life and you just think that maybe I should open Facebook and I'll see how other people are happy and I will become sad because of that. And the other thing which happens over there is, you know, you are just, you know, you have got lots of work and then you go there and you think that, wow, I spent some time on Facebook, you look at memes, you laugh at them, you look at others being trolled, you laugh at that and you're wasting your own time. It's an escape from reality and it's the worst thing you can do as a student or as anyone in life, you know, reality should be faced, it should not be escaped from. And that's the thing which I'm talking about, ki you have to, you have to decide that after a certain limit of time, maybe set some reminder or maybe uh, those apps which I told you about, they give you notifications every hour or every half hour, you have to switch out, you have to log out now. So put up some notifications and as soon as that notification rings, you have to log out of your app. Once you log out, it's very, you know, if you train your mind, ki, I don't have to log in, then you know, it will automatically come inside yourself that I will not log in. I will not log in until the next day. So just open your Facebook today, set a time, 4.30 p.m. I will use WhatsApp, uh, Facebook, log in browse till 4 45 5 pm and then log out and then just just put it in your mind that you know i will not open facebook until uh, the next day 4 30 pm i will not you have to put it it will be hard for a next for a few weeks but after that you'll just sail through it and it will save a lot of your time you just uh, monitor the uh, the first step was to monitor your time the second thing was to log out just log out and then monitor your time you will be amazed at the amount of time you saved man so this was the second tip however you know, it's very tough to 
log out from uh, a site how are you going to do that There's this very huge problem that you do not have an incentive. Why should you log out? Because you will tell yourself that it's very tough to follow it in real life because the human being is trained in such a way that it does not you know, change its habit so easily. What you can do here is to incentivize your uh, this action of leaving your addictions. What you can do is whenever you don't log in for one day, reward yourself. You could reward yourself in terms of some candies. You can reward yourself in terms of some money. Uh, you know, just take your pocket money, give, take five rupees of it and put it in a you know, piggy bank or something. And every time you do not follow that, every time you log in again in one day, just put pull five rupees out of that and give it to your parents and just tell them, hey, mommy, daddy, I have you have to make sure that I do not log in again. And every time I do, punish me. And every time I do not, reward me. Or you can reward it yourself. Because the human brain has been tuned in such a way that it responds to incentives. You know, when you give it some incentives, for example, money or candies or whatever, it is going to change its habit because it has been trained in such a way. You have been trained in such a way since your childhood that you respond to the good stuff and you do not like the bad stuff happening to you. So that will help you change your habits uh, rapidly. And you could try anything. It could be candy, it could be chocolates, it could be money, it could be gaming credits or gaming hours or whatever. But just incentivize yourself. It will really help you. Fourth tip which I have for you is to socialize with real people. Now this has become a really really important thing today because what I see is that people chat more than they talk with real people and it's really ruining the social structure today. You know I see lots of people and even I was at a time where I used to chat with so many people but I could not you know talk to real people. You have to make sure you develop your communication skills and to break this addiction the most important thing to do is to talk with real people. You have to talk to some real friends, go out, hang out with your friends, just leave this whatsapp thing. Whenever someone messages you, Ki, hey guy what's up, just tell him Ki, no. We are going to meet. We will talk in real person. Okay, this is going to really help you. It will help you in two ways. Because, you know, meeting someone in real is very different from chatting. And it really helps you boost your personality as well. So it will help you develop your communication skill and it will also help you build up, build better relationships with people around you. So that was my fourth tip that you have to go out and talk with people instead of just, you know, socializing on the web because after all, it's just a person on the other side and you never know who it's, who it's going to be, you know. You should never talk to random people on the internet because it can be really dangerous at times. If you share some private information, you know, it could be dangerous for you, possibly. So you should never do that. The fifth and the most important tip which I have for you, if none of those work out, if you're still not able to control your addictions, if you're still not able to get out of that mindset of logging in again and scrolling and seeing memes and all, all that, if you're still not able to overcome, there's only one solution. You have to delete your accounts or you have to throw away your phone. That's the only thing you have if you want to build a better career or, or build a better you. The reason I'm telling this is because, you know, once you throw away something, nothing can be done about it. A phone costs 15,000, 30,000 or whatever. Once you throw it away, there's no way you're buying another phone. Your parents won't allow you to. Okay, so this should come at the very last because, you know, you, do, you don't want to throw away a phone. It's not a cheap thing. You should not do that. But I myself used to use WhatsApp a lot until some time back and I stopped using it. I uninstalled the app and for 7-8 months I did not install it back. I was not on WhatsApp for 7-8 months. Can you imagine how big a time that is? You know, and I was able to overcome that thing. Now I have installed it again because, you know, I have to talk to various people and now I have so many connections and I have to maintain connections to those people. That's why I'm using it again. But now I don't, I am not addicted to that. Okay, earlier I used to ki, okay, phone nikal and now I'm chatting again. That doesn't happen anymore. So that's one very important step that you have to take a hiatus from all of this. You know, delete your account and just promise or pledge to yourself that I will not open it again. I have done it in class 9th and I've done it in uh, my first year and both of them worked wonders. Nobody cares about it. Huh? Don't think, ki, okay, I will lose my followers. Nothing happens. Nothing matters at all. Okay, what happens is how great are you building yourself? And if you have those platforms, you are addicted to them and you have watched this video till now and you are not able to control your inner feelings of, you know, overcoming your addictions, then you will not be able to achieve good things. And then all those followings, all those things don't make any sense at all. You know, a phone is not worth more than your career or more than your life. So I really hope that this video helped you and I tried to update the video quality a bit this time. If you... Uh, like this video please like share it with your friends and if you are new to this channel do hit the subscribe button and hit on the bell icon to get uh, regular updates 
and the message of this video was that okay it's not that you should get away from social media you should not use those apps at all because in today's world it has kind of become a necessity for example i myself have accounts on twitter instagram facebook quora youtube and whatnot you can check out the links in the description if you want to follow me uh, now uh, the thing is that if you use them in moderation it's really good i myself use all of this but you know i spend less than an hour or 30 minutes on these every day i just post and i don't check it i just post stuff people sometimes comment people sometimes do all kinds of shits on my stuff i don't even check them so you have to make sure that you maintain your profiles but you do not spend waste time on that so that's what i think ki you, you, you it's all right if you have social media profiles it's needed in today's world but make sure you do not spend too much time on it and that was the whole point of this video and do follow these things and tell me how addicted are you on a scale of 0 to 10 and how these things help you and whether you will be willing to do it or not and what are the results share everything any suggestions anything you have in the comment section i'll see you next week bye